Look at this big fat croissant in a Ziploc bag. How did you know this was gonna fit in there? I didn't, I just had to shove it in. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like perfectly made for this croissant. That's interesting. Imagine this were drugs. Like it's like a dub sack, you know? Mark knows what I'm talking about. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Back in our day, like now everyone has those fancy like prescription plastic tubes. Back in our days, you bought weed in little dub sacks and it's dub because it cost 20 bucks, but it looked like a smaller version of this. Now everyone has those special tubes that looks like actual prescription. I'm in the Barbell Brigade side right now with Marie. Hi. Always pretending like she's working. I am. Really? Working on your secret, secret project. Sure. Yeah. Look at all this fake paper work she always makes. She just puts like a letterhead on so it looks. I love to waste paper. Really important. Oh yeah. We just had our uh, restock launch. So it's the biggest restock for the whole year so if you've missed out on any of the launches this year we probably have it like this rebirth hoodie so make sure you go check that out right now barbellbrigade.com the link is in the description below go there now before you miss it for a second time because we don't know if we're gonna restock again until maybe next year or maybe we won't because we have a lot of super dope designs coming out and because of that we got to make room for it in our timeline like for example is there anything here I can show them like this beanie oh there's nothing on this beanie this is the blank beanie let's see oh I know where it is it's on the other side it's on the other side don't don't click away Pornhub Kuwait don't click away I'll show you guys so we have some new stuff dropping but this is like next month so you don't really have to worry about it now <gasps> Mom there. Hi. Nice to see you, Bikini. Uh, what do you mean? We have the same schedule every week. I know, but I never see you sitting out here like a Bikini. Oh, it's because the AC is broken and that room's like a sauna. Yeah, because I'm always used to you, you seeing in there. It's a sauna. Bikini. Thanks. All right, so what I was going to show you is this is our next month's launch. Uh, it's a little sneak peek action. But right here, we got the Phantom motherfucking collection. We got this dope tan tee. We got the sand hoodie. We're bringing this motherfucker back. We got this, oh, so this is the beanie I was telling you guys. We got this military surplus beanie with this super dope label on it. We even have joggers, you guys, bottoms. I know it's, it's about to get cold. So we got joggers to match the hoodie. So as you can see, we got a ton of stuff going on for the rest of the year. So we don't know if we're gonna bring back the restock, but uh, the restock is happening now. So make sure you go there before all those things are gone. Ren, what are you doing? I am packaging some stuff. Those bags look sick. That's tight. I don't even know what to say. I just think those bags look cool. Sometimes half the things that we do at the company, like obviously as a business, like you're always trying to make money, right? So you want to make the best product you can, but you also want to have profit margin so the business doesn't go bankrupt. But a lot of the things that we do because it's such a mom and pop and passion company, um, we want it to, I was about to say unlike Amazon because I know Amazon has horror stories and no not shots fired I just know that they're such an efficient company. They're always trying to maximize profits and cut costs, which is why you have, uh, what is it called? Those, uh, those horror stories of people that gave birth and they're expected to come back to work the next day. Like they have horrible maternity leave, but not shots fired. It's just articles that I read. Uh, but for us, since we don't, we're not all about making money, we get to do cool shit like that. Those bags, those custom bags actually cost a lot of money. And since you don't buy them, um, 
we don't make profit. They're technically a loss, but it looks so dope. Like we just imagined if we're a customer, we bought something, we got that in the mail, we're like, oh, that's tight. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, and check this out. I don't know if you guys know what we're trying to do, but these are just some random things. Can you guys guess why we have these random things? I can't I can't hold a secret out anymore. So me and Ma Bear, we've been gathering props because we're gonna start a podcast. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited about that or not. And the reason why we wanna start this podcast is on Just Kidding News, which is very similar to a podcast. So a lot of you guys might be like, wait, you already have Just Kidding News. Why would you start a podcast? Well, number one, Just Kidding News, it has to be a comedic angle. And the flavor and content that we make there is me, Joe, David, Geo, Tiff, everyone, Julia, contributing, and it creates like a very funny thing, right? But if we ever want to get at something serious or get more in depth, it doesn't really fit on Just Kidding News, you know? So me and Geo, we have a lot of uh, conversations and topics that we want to talk about, either things we want to get more serious or get more in depth, and we don't want to have it be so structured by an article. So we're like, what if we start our own podcast, kind of like our original, original videos. If you guys look back, remember when me and Jill used to have bear talks and on bear talks, we had all this relationship advice and then uh, we would share stories of our relationships, how we got together and all that stuff. So we want to bring that into a podcast format. So if you guys are pretty excited about that, let us know, but we've already started ordering props that we feel like really represent us. Like this goofy bear, um, this chill, live free or die. Just things that really resonate with us. And we have this cool sign that we never really got to fully use. And now we can fully use it in the podcast. But yeah, I'm really excited. Woo! I get my own care package. Thank you, whoever put it here. Just kidding, I know who put it there. Rend it. So we're out here at Studio 71 trying to pitch a TV show. What do you think our chances are of this? One in a million. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But exactly. if, if you go into it without energy, this is this is the chances. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's what we have to do to get the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so Casey's gonna start because he's the oh. best at it. Why do I? You're the best at it. Oh really? What's the pitch? Let me hear the pitch, Casey. Uh, you can turn it to Steve. To Steve, what's the pitch? I forgot. I'll do the pitching. Imagine the best TV show ever made. Do an echo on your voice maybe in editing. Yeah. Ever made, 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 made. Right, that sounds, that sounds more epic. What's up, dude? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. How you guys doing? Good, good, good. How you doing, Steve? Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. I'm Reza. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. What are we talking today? We we're talking about a, t a, oh, no, a TV oh, show that we're trying to pitch. A series, series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Cool. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so uh, he's one of the big guys here, but uh, we'll see how smart he is if he's gonna green light this series. If he has anything to do with it, even we'll, we'll, no, we'll, we'll find has, out. I think he's so business and numbers. It doesn't matter. It's, gotcha. It's probably one of his underling writer content people. Well, the trick is we have to we have to get the guy who presents to him to yeah. think that if he presents to him, he's not gonna get fired. Right. That's our job right now. But the problem with all of our ideas are very fireable. That's exactly right. That's the problem. That's exactly right. We have right. great ideas. Highly right. fireable ideas. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what we found in focus testing. Yeah, that's true. They should just put on put us on Cobra Kai. Hell, Ooh. there you go. Ooh. It's like, we want to do our own show. It's called Cobra Kai. Like, get the fuck out of here. Our own show, Python By. There you go. <laughs> It's a knockoff Cobra Kai that we don't film in China, we film it here. Yup. So we get sued here, not in China. <laughs> How come some people's YouTube careers lead them on shows like this? And how come some people's YouTube careers end up selling board games? I don't know. Oh, she is. Yeah, he's right here. What are we talking about? I was just saying, how come some YouTube careers, they end up on shows like that? And then how come some of them are like ours, where no one knows us? Well, I think it's all kind of the same, right? Because when they're on those shows, they have to like 
say who they are and what they do. Yeah, but they're even, they even get invited. We don't even get invited. That's for sure. Yeah, that's not about, that's not about to change anytime soon either, my friend. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> We're gonna be the most famous, unfamous people in the universe, but hopefully people like our content. Yeah, because that's what really matters at the end of the day, isn't that right, Bart? Yep. That's it. By the way, they just charged me for this water. No, I'm kidding. But Lily Singh wouldn't. She wouldn't have to pay nothing. No, she wouldn't have to. Nah, dude. And she gets to take all these free fuzzy pillows. Exactly. She could walk in here and take the couch with her. Yeah. Casey just dropped me off from the meeting, and look who's out here, waiting to welcome me. I dropped my water bottle, but I don't give a shit because my family's here. Tiger, tiger. Bikini and Mama Bear? Mama Bear? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, little? Say bye to Casey. Hey, say bye to Casey. Say bye to Casey. Say bye. Bye. Bikini. Were you out here waiting for me? Yes. You bikini. You're such a sweetheart, you know that? just in the car. I'm like, uh. Oh, we're having deep talks, that's why. But you're such a sweetheart, Mama. Okay, I think he's ready to go. Okay, bye. We're going inside. Are you going inside, little dude? Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? How was your meeting? What happened, Mama? Huh? You didn't hear me? Well, how was my writer's meeting? Uh, well, I don't know. Whatever meeting you had right now. So today we had a meeting where we uh, pitched um, the TV show that's based off of my oh. experience as an after-school tutor. Remember when I used to work there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we pitched that as a TV series. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in the marketplace right now, they actually don't have that much funding to do comedy movies, yeah. but they have a lot of funding in series. Okay. And um, what we thought was going to be a low possibility um, uh, meeting. Yeah. The main head of scripted was already on board the minute we walked in there, and he was already just vibing with us and, and chiming in. Oh, sick. Uh, there are a few things he wants us to add, which is cool, because uh, they're actually the things that we took out. Things that oh, we, sick. we thought um, were going to be way too cultural or too niche, yeah. um, and we wanted to make it more broad yeah. and more primal. He goes, no, 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 like, you want those things because people are looking for unique perspectives right now. That's amazing. So, so we'll see how it goes, because... Even though it turned out good, like what Steve was telling us, like in scripted, there's always a chance where things can fall through even at the very, 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 very last second. So until there's money in your pocket and things are signed, you don't really know. But this is pretty promising. And then we're going to meet next Monday to keep uh, finalizing it. That's amazing. Are you proud of me? Yeah, very proud of you. It's just this guy's all over the place. Whoa. He was just playing with your shoes and he touched I know, like I felt 10 million it. other things. Big cutie. Now he's petting meatloaf. Oh, I don't trust him petting meatloaf. Pet it back up. You need a shower, bro. So do I. Tomorrow's a shower day with you, right? Yeah. I'm gonna do it tonight, though. Oh, you want some love, too? <laughs> double. Double I doggy. Both. Double doggy. I got a lot to give. Double doggy. Oh, you order food? Yes. Ooh. Wow. You freaking crazy dude. How are you so fearless? Those dogs are huge. You're not scared of them? Every time Taika plays with me, love, I think it's so fucking cute. But there's also this part of me that I'm like, oh god, please don't bite him. Please don't bite him. Because if you bite him, oh, like he's gonzos because he's so little compared to this freaking 100 pound behemoth. Thank you, Milo, for being a good doggy and not destroying Taika. What'd you order, Mama? It was a better training, but it wasn't it. It was a package. Oh, it was a package? Yeah. You want me to order a Boba? Noba. Fine. <laughs> Did you turn it back on? Yeah, the camera's on. Because I ordered Boba. <laughs> you sneaky snake, that's what it was. <laughs> You me, sneaky me snake! I don't trust you. You sneaky me. freaking snake! You know I love it when you do this. You turn me on. 
You make me want to give it to you. Good Ew, for being shut up. Why? You sound so weird. You make me want to give it to you good. Shut up. You don't even talk like that. Yes, real. I do. No, you don't. Start acting more naughty and I'll give it to you good. I'll talk like this. You're weird. You don't believe I'll give it to you good? I'll give it to you bad then. Oh, yeah, I'm used to that. Hey! Wow. Did you hear what your mom said? No, you didn't say How did you come out if I gave it to her bad? That's your toilet. Don't stick your finger in there. I know, that is your toilet. You cute little yuckster. This guy is like... Oh, you're kidding me. No, it's just because he wants you to make him move. You're getting hungry. How long your hair is, dude? <laughs> Big cutie. Mm. What's it? What's that? What's it? <laughs> Shout out to James from Barbell Brigade. He's one of our members at the gym, cause he bought one of the cutest things in the world. Can you show them what he got tied up for his birthday? <laughs> yes, this little guy has moved. Are you hungry? What's going on? No, he didn't, you liar. Yeah, you Little clown? Yeah, you guys like it? No, show him what he really got before Tyga starts crying. We have to shut the vlog up and we have to do other stuff. Go, 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 go. Look, Tyga, this is yours. The little barbell brigade hoodie. So cute. Thank you, James. Hell yeah. You little barbell brigade mascot? He's not a mascot. Fine. What is he then? Hero. Hero. Uh, he's getting hungry. Fine. Fine. You gotta feed him then? Yes. Oh, and you know what else came in the mail? I saw way more podcast props. We're trying to get things that really speak to us. And uh, one of them is this record by Bruno Mars. I'm a big fan of Bruno, as you guys can tell from my Instagram. I met him a long time ago before he even blew up when I was more famous than him. But... His music really speaks to me. Bam! So I gotta get him. Gotta represent. Got some flowers for Gio. Because she's nice and girly and flowery. And also my childhood favorite, of course, Tupac, All Eyes On Me. One of the best albums of all time. Look at these tracks, y'all. Can't see me. I ain't mad at ya. California love. Life goes on. How many fuck about took into the street? What's the beast? Um, uh, two of America's most want us with Snoop. All about you. Ambitious as a rod, rod, rod. Picture me rolling in my 500 bins. All these, man. All of these. I did so much crime to those tracks, you know? They really related to me. You got your little milky milk. Like y'all like Whoa, what's sexy? You're bam, so chicka, bam, weird. Wham. You're so weird. You're so weird. Really? Why? That's not sexy. You unzipped them and his little chest showed. Oh. He's not sexy, okay? <laughs> oh fine. Oh fuck. <laughs> Look what you did there. You pay attention. He hit his head Look, here. He hit his head or you banged his head on the freaking A little bit of both. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, oh I'm so shy. He's too big okay. for this now. Has to and he's sleepy like a mofo. Oh, yeah, but you can't be sleepy. It's not your bedtime yet. Yeah. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's eat your food. A little, little baby. Lots of big steps happening in today's vlog. Hopefully our series gets picked up. And as you guys saw, we're working hard on Barbell Brigade stuff, so... A lot of exciting things happening this year. Hopefully continuing on to next year. And uh, our house is a mess because, of course, Taika runs our house. Mob is upstairs giving him a shower. And uh, I just finished walking the docks because they do need to get walked. Man, I can't wait till we get a new house to have a big backyard so they can run around. Because right now, they don't even have the hole downstairs to run around. That whole living room, that, which they used to hang out at with the coffee table and all that, that's all taken up. And they can't really run around here because they don't want to knock Tyke over. So, yeah. But it's really hard finding our house in uh, in the areas we're trying to look. So, hopefully we find something. But thank you guys so much for following us. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.